Just a little sodium chloride. Actually, dude, it's salt. That's what I said, sodium chloride. Uh, dude, that would be salt. Halite, also known as table salt, is a mineral with a chemical formula of NaCl, sodium chloride. Its molecules are made up of one sodium atom and one chlorine atom. It gets its name from the Greek thalassa, which means sea. Halite has a vitreous glass-like luster and a hardness of around 2.5 on the most hardness scale, which is pretty soft for a rock. The color of pure sodium chloride is a transparent white, but it can sometimes be other colors too when it has a little bit of other molecules in there. For example, Himalayan pink salt is a type of halite tinted pink from traces of iron oxide in it. Impurities like these aren't part of the chemical composition throughout the entire material, but they're just in there a little bit. Halite has cleavage on three axes, all at 90 degrees in relation to one another, which gives it the ability to break apart into cubes. This is because the molecules are arranged in a way that makes the weaker chemical bonds line up perfectly to be able to do this. Some other ways to identify halite are its salty taste, obviously, its ability to dissolve in water, and its fluorescence if it has impurities of manganese or lead. Halite is very common, found in masses of clay and other sedimentary rocks. There are countless salt mines all over the world. It's also found dissolved in the ocean and some lakes. During dry seasons, some or all of the water in salt lakes can evaporate and leave the halite behind. This is why it's called an evaporite mineral. This also makes it form sedimentary rocks with other evaporite minerals like gypsum. Salt from halite is useful to be able to melt snow and ice on roads, as salt licks for cattle, since they also need salt, and for medicinal purposes. But we all know what it's most useful for. Salt is a flavor enhancer used with food, whether it's in cooking or as seasoning, to make it generally taste better. The salt used for food is almost always iodized, having traces of iodine in it to prevent iodine deficiency and to keep the grains from sticking together. It's interesting and great, but all I asked for was a little bit more salt on my pasta, please.